Losing your work can be absolutely heartbreaking. Every musician knows that you need to make backups. But how do you get that into your workflow without it just becoming another chore that you keep putting off until it's too late? I have a solution for you. It will make automatic backups, it will save space on your hard drive if you need it, and it will make you more portable. It involves this. Let's dive into it. The this I'm referring to is the Google Drive application. It's available for Windows and for Mac. It will sync files between your Google Drive account and your computer. Go to google.com slash drive slash download uh, and download the application and install it like you would any other normal application on your computer. When the installation is done and you run the application for the first time, it's going to ask you to sign in to your Google account. Input your email address and your password, and then you're good to go. Once the Google Drive application has installed and synced with your account, you can go into Finder to see your files directly on your computer. There's a new drive in the sidebar called Google Drive, and it has all of your Google Drive. There's a cloud indicating that the file is in Google Drive or that the folder is in Google Drive. And if it has this little arrow pointing down, as this one has, it means that it's just on Google Drive. It's not yet synced to your local computer. I will click my way into where my music files are, where my music products are. If I want easy access to this folder, I can just drag it into my sidebar. That creates an alias where you can click the sidebar and get directly into the folder containing your music projects. If we go into a project like this one, we can see now that all of the files are not downloaded, so they're only in Google Drive. If you want to open a file, you can just double click it and Google Drive application will download the file for you and then open it. So what happened was that Google Drive opened the file by first downloading it to your computer and then opened it. When you're working with a project, like a music project or even a video project, you usually want all of the files available all the time. You don't want Google Drive to suddenly decide that one of the files are too big, that hard drive storage is getting low, and so it will suddenly offload one of your files that you're actually working with by removing it from your local computer. The way that you can ensure that all of the files for your project are available is that you go to the, the folder, you right click it, and then you select Available Offline. When you do that, Google Drive will start syncing files. You can see from the icon in the menu bar that um, there's an animation indicating that Google Drive is now starting to synchronize files. So by opening Google, the Google Drive drop-down menu, you can see now that there are 122 files, now 106. So it's just syncing all of the files in that folder to have them available at all times locally. So this is the way I would do it. When, I, when I'm starting to work on a project, I make sure that all of the files are synced to my computer. In that way, the folder behaves just like any local folder on your computer. There's no lag, there's nothing that will introduce any strangeness to how the way that you're working with your files. You can see now in Finder that the cloud icon has been replaced by a small green icon that indicates available offline. And if you go into it, you can see that all of the files are marked green. We can just open up this project in Reaper. And Reaper opens normally. You have access to all of the th stuff that you've recorded previously. And now you can just work with Reaper um, completely normal in the way that you would any music project that you worked with before. One thing that you can do if you're worried when you're tracking um, about Google Drive starting to sync your files and using CPU or network capacity that would interfere with your recording, um, is that you can go into the Google Drive application and temporarily pause the syncing. So you go in here, choose the settings icon, and then pause syncing. So now Google Drive is, the application is offline. It leaves all of your files where they were, 
So you still have access to your complete project. And now we're going to track just a short piece um, of guitar to show you what happens with the files. We press stop, save all, just as we always do. Then we can go into Finder to see what's happening with the file. We have this new file. This is the one that was just recorded and it has this little icon that says uh, it couldn't be synced. And it couldn't be synced because we turned the syncing off by pausing it. You can see also in Finder that um, this bar here says that files will not be synced until you activate sync again. Once you're done tracking, you can reactivate the sync in the Google Drive app. So just open the app, preferences, and then resume syncing. And then you will see the file that you just created by recording is queued for upload. And then it uploads, and then it's available in Google Drive and on your computer. What do you do when you start a new project? Well, you do exactly what you usually do. In Reaper, you have a new project. You record as you usually do. When you save it, you go into the folder that's pointing to Google Drive. You create a new folder. And inside that, you can just create your new project. And once that is done, you can just use Reaper as you would normally do. Like I said, when you're tracking, you can go into the Google Drive app and then you can turn off syncing just to save CPU, etc. I would say that with my Mac M1 Pro, I've never had to do that. It's never interfered at all with recording or tracking. So you can just leave it on. But if you really want to be on the safe side, you can turn the sync off. <music> to summarize, what, what is my actual workflow? It's just using Reaper normally, but you save your projects into a folder that's pointing to Google Drive. And then the Google Drive application will automatically take care of backing up for you. So as soon as you're done um, and you reactivate Sync, if you turn it off, it will just copy all of the files into the cloud and then you'll have them both on your computer and in the cloud. So I usually periodically also save my work to um, an external hard drive. And that way I have all of my work in three locations. Using this workflow, I personally haven't ever lost a song. It doesn't matter if your computer breaks, you will still have the freshest copy available on Google Drive. Also, if you need it, you can log into Google Drive and download an entire project on any other computer. So there's also a huge portability advantage. I know this is a slightly unorthodox workflow, but I've been using it for years and it's been working really, really well for me. It does require a bit of bandwidth, but if you have the space on your hard drive, you can make all of your projects available offline at all times. If you don't like this workflow, I still implore you to find one that works for you. You really need to make those backups before it's too late. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.